Good morning to everyone. So I am the chocolate and God is the thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. I was debating on making this type of video, but I said, you know what? I'm going to make it. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing, there was a video that, uh, there's a video that camp Kevin Samuels did. Now I just ate in my stomach. It it growls it's so embarrassing but anyway Kevin Samuels he made a video and if many of you don't know who Kevin Samuels is all I'm going to tell you is look him up he is one look at these birds and squirrels fighting well Lord they trying to beat the squirrel they better not be trying to eat that squirrel I'm sorry oh I'm watching oh hey I did not know birds come after squirrels like that Anyway, sorry y'all, but anyway, I gotta stay focused. So, Kevin Samuels is a black man that he, you know, he really speaks on a lot of issues that go on um, in the black community, but especially he speaks on a lot of the female situations. So, this one video he did, it's called How Much Is Too Much? And it's about a woman, a black woman, who has four children. Okay, she is unmarried. And as I'm, as I was looking at this video, I didn't seen the video probably about three times. Okay, this is what I want to say. First of all, I believe that woman. I believe she's 28 with four children. Uh, she doesn't have a high school diploma. I believe. This woman did not have a good childhood at all. I believe either in her childhood she may have been abused, child abused maybe. Or if she wasn't child abused, she sure had to have been sexually abused. Whether it is molested, whether it was her being raped. Something went on. I, b I believe that. I really believe that. And if I'm wrong... And if I'm wrong, then I need, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she sees this video and she could correct me and I'm fine with that. But I know I can, I can tell by body language. I just can tell by the way she's talking and everything. And, um, and I can tell because I am a woman who was molested as a child, who was raped as a preteen. So I, I know I can I, I I know I can I can just I can see it, but anyway, my heart goes out to her. Uh, instead of her speaking with Kevin Samuels, what she should do, not saying that he's, you know, he wasn't harsh with her. So I'm, you know, he was real and blunt and direct, but he wasn't harsh with her. That lady needs a therapist. You see, a lot of times when those of us who are adults now a lot of times we never ever get therapy for the childhood trauma that we've been through we never ever get therapy for the child molestation and or, or, or the rape that we have been through when we were young okay we never get therapy we never get no therapy and so what happens is those traumas grow up with us as we become adults and those traumas create low self-esteem those traumas create all types of fear anxiety all types of situations and with this lady what i can see is low self-esteem i definitely see low self-esteem and i also see that she's a woman who's stuck in bondage spiritually yes i would say that she needs prayer amen blessed be the name of the lord but powerful prayer holy ghost filled prayer not no corny weak stuff and i would just say therapy is very important she's a woman who i can tell men have taken advantage of her and i know that she is because she allowed it but she didn't she only, I feel, allowed it because she did not know any better. And when you do not know better, you cannot do better. Okay? I see a woman who is, 
she's not looking for pity, which I love. Because I'll tell y'all, if you in a bad situation, etc., don't look for, for pity from people. Because when, when people pity you, they do not respect you. They do not respect you at all. And back to what I was saying, men have taken advantage of that woman. And what they did is they used her as a humper, pumper, dumper. Ladies, if you're down and out, don't allow men to do that to you. Do not allow your body to be used as for a man's mental, spiritual, and physical dumping ground. If you have low self-esteem, do not be ashamed. I used to have low self-esteem for many years. Do not be ashamed of it. Because like Ayala Van Zant says, what we, what we are ashamed of, we never confront. We never confront. And I'm thinking this lady may know she has low self-esteem, but just don't know how to get out of it. And I am rooting for this woman because I believe with the right help, she can be changed and turned around. I know from some uh, many unfortunate things that went on in my childhood, I know it affected my adulthood for many years. Many years it affected my adulthood. Even as far as the way I've raised my children. I was very protective of my children. You know why? Because I've seen how some adults will do you when they feel you don't have parents. When they feel there is no parent. When they know that there's no parental figure to protect you. I see how some adults, how dirty some adults do children. I know because I am a victor. I don't like calling myself no victim. I'm a victor of such things. Some adults are foul and they are devils in disguise. And they got that form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. And they're so mean hearted when it comes to people's children that they feel are not protected. But you know, God got a special place for such people. And they, they are going to have to face God on judgment day. Oh, yes, they will. Yes, they will. Whoever is responsible for messing that young lady's life up, they need to repent quickly. I believe that woman's life could turn around. Because I, st 